Hi guys, my name is Nosha and welcome to Learn MVC. So this is the, our seventh lecture, seventh video. And uh, in the previous lecture, we have done how to use uh, models and the uh, strongly type of view in the ESP dot MVC. So we, I will start with the previous lecture. So it's very easy to understand here. So here you can see. I have created in uh, action result in save employee. I have created my employee objects and just pass the data in the property with using request dot form. Right? I just remove this code and in the objects in the action the save employee in the parameter I just pass the objects employee underscore o employee. Right? Now I just save and run the program. Why? Because you can just see here in the create employee view, there is an employee name text box. The name is the same name of the property of the model class employee. You can see here employee name and text box name. Employee name, right? Is same. The other is employee address. This name and the uh, create employee view the text and name is same so they will automatically bind the object they will automatically bind the object and pass the data to the property and display in the employee details. you can see here I just created the object here in the parameter of the save employee action and just pass the object to the strong type of view and just run the application and just see here Enter the name here. Right. Just now, just do the step over here, and you can see the object. The name is now Sharnandoria, and the address is number four double zero one nine three. That means when the text box name and the property name is same, that time ASP.NET MVC they will automatically bind with the control to the property and send to the data to a objects. So no need to find a request dot form and just find the control and pass the data to the property or employee objects. Suppose now here the one question is there if the control name is different rather than the object property class property then how to map to controller to the property so one option is i have already told you in previous lecture this is one option you can use request.form and the other option is you can use a model binder you can use a model binder so i'll show you how to use a model binder here this is our main stuff in this video in this lecture so here i just create one class public class if you want to create this class is separate you are also able to create this class in a separate you can create one folder one namespc and you can create the separate class but for this hello world application i just create internally public class employee Binder inherit with I model binder. I'm using I model binder. Yeah, this is the interface. I'm just clicking on interface and just click on implement interface I model binder. You can see here there is a one method is there. So now I'm just remove this one. Suppose I have changed here the name ext or 
also takes two. Takes the name and takes the address. Now you save and just run the application. They will not bind automatically. Sorry. First I'll show you. It's very easy. I'll just control X. Just save and run the application. They will not bind control to the property. I'll just show you. Employee create employee. There is a no data right because the controller name control name and the property name is the different that's why they are not able to binding the property through a controller right that's why I taken a class here which inherited with the I model binder now here I'm just using here the control context is there and binding context is there so there is information about the controller information all the controller context details is available on the controller context so i mean there is a available the details of the your views control so i'll show you here i just create the object of the class of http context base the http context base underscore or sorry underscore o SCTP context base is equal to you can pass here this one objects controller context dot SCTP context ok now Just missing the direct assembly. So just add the assembly. Okay, no problem. Just save and just try. Just create of the string EMP name is equal to underscore O SCTP context base dot. dot form and you can pass the control name here so my control name is txt name you can pass here and the other is string name is address is equal to object name dot request dot form Now, you can create the object of the cust uh, object of the employee class here. And pass the data to the property. Employee name is equal to EMP name and employee address. Return the objects in the score for this is the 
so you can see here I just created the object of the HTTP context badge base and the create the two string variable here emp name and emp address and just just find the control and just put the value from the emp name variable and for the address I'm storing the value in the emp address after that I just create the object of the employee class and just pass the value emp name and emp address in the property of employee class okay and just return the object of the employee after that I'm just going to the save employee action when I click on submit button that time it's called a save employee action I just change here I'm just using model binder and this is the type of you can pass the name of your model binder class my model binder class name is employee binder just copy this name right now you can use uh, I just put the breakpoint here so it's very easy to understand okay Create employee. Just pass the name. And just click on save button. You can see here. This is the control context, right? There's the information about the views and control. I just create the SDB context bag. The employee name is Noshar. The employee address is Mumbai now i'm just creating the employee object and pass the data to the property i'm just returning the objects after that you can see here now in the object of employee there is a data is available right so you can do this for process so this is the model binder if the control name in the property name is different the control name in the pro control name and the property name is a different that time you need to be the use the model binder if you want to mapping with the controller and the property and this is not difficult to code actually this is a very easy code to use a model binder also if you want to create separate class in the solution so this is also possible you can after that you can create the here one folder and just write the class inside the folder and just pass the reference here and you can use the class same way so this is also possible so this is the model binder uh, i hope you are enjoying with the model binder and i hope you can understand how to use this model binder with the mapping with the control and property if you have any doubt regarding this model binder you can send me mail i'll definitely help you if you want to chat with me you can check this with me in skype uh, i'm definitely available on monday to friday i hope you are enjoying this video if you like this video you can subscribe to my channel you can share the my video Thank you very much for the watching this video and do not forget to watch my next video and till the end of the MVC tutorials I have more than 50 to 60 videos in ESP.NET MVC, ESP.NET Entity Framework, ESP.NET MVC with Dapper. Dapper is a different ORM, Object National Mapping. So do not forget to watch this video. Thank you very much.